Hello everyone! What you're about to see is yet another edited gameplay video of my Genshin Impact playthrough. Now, as always, I do have some context I should give you at the start, and please make sure to watch this just so that, you know, you know exactly what's going on, um, because there are some things that I like to clarify before these long videos. Um, so this is gonna be an edited down version of me playing, which means, uh, I basically took hours and hours and hours and hours of footage of me playing, and I edited it down to however long this video is, so, um, so, you know, there's a lot of stuff cut out, um, just generally, you know, it's, it's just the, the big main moments, but, um, a lot of you guys have said that you've enjoyed the way that I've edited these videos so far, and that, you know, it gets right to the point, so I hope you continue to enjoy it. Um, I try to not edit the cutscenes, like, when there's cutscenes, I try to keep them completely intact, like, animated ones, I mean, um, but then I just take, like, the main parts of the dialogue, and there's little combat, um, that I put in here because I imagine people aren't like aren't really necessarily watching me for the combat But as with all of this stuff if there's anything that you uh, saw that I cut out of this thing And you wanted to see it then make sure to go to my second channel my yeah I guess second channel gent watches more it's in the description below um, And I post the full raw footage of me playing um, On there so if there's anything at all that I cut out uh, then make sure to go check that out and you can go watch the the full thing, the unedited version. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of content over there. But um, but I also want to apologize because what you're about to see also um, is my uh, my hard drive or my solid state drive, my one of my internal hard drives failed uh, a couple weeks back, and because of that. I lost like the raw footage of this, but I'd already uploaded it to my second channel So I just downloaded it off my second channel and edited it from there But because of that the qu video quality is a little bit lower because I uploaded it and then re-downloaded it So it's compressed more and stuff So for example like whenever it does close-ups of my face and stuff It's like it looks really shitty that that's you know It was just an unfortunate thing because I lost this the the raw version of this footage So I apologize for that that it's like a little lower quality than it normally is. The sound might be a little bit lower quality, but it should it should be bearable. I didn't I didn't I don't I think it's fine. It's just overall fine, but it's just like a little worse than normal. Um, also, this day that I'm posting this, I think Saturday's the one I'm posting this. Um, I normally jump back and forth between any of the Hoyaverse games, so generally Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, and uh, Zenith Zone Zero. I'm jumping back and forth between all of those games. Make sure to let me know if you enjoy them, um, because I would like to keep this as the Hoyaverse day and continue to post Hoy different Hoyaverse content, because I really, really love it. Um, so, like, I'm doing Genshin this week. Next week, I might do something Honkai Star Rail related, or I might do ZZZ related, I'm not sure. Um, but just make sure to keep coming back keep letting me know that you like it support all these videos as best you can and as always on the gent watches more channel i post the raw footage of this stuff um but i've been for example recently been playing the shit out of uh zzz and i love love that game so i'd love to post some more gameplay of that to this channel if i can at some point um but let me know what you would like tell me your favorite parts of these videos uh really keep the engagement up on these videos because they take a long time to edit and so even when you just take a couple minutes to write like, hey, this was a great video, thank you. Um, that really, really helped me out. So make sure to do that. Subscribe to the channel if you want more, like the video. Um, and if you want, I have a Patreon account. It doesn't really relate to you guys necessarily, but it does help support me and it gets you full length versions of content and early access for all of the rest of my content, including my Gent Watches One Piece channel. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff there for you. It's definitely worth it, so go check that out. But uh, yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, what's up? It's time for more Genshin Impact. Focus, we're here. Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Mm. What do you think? I don't know if we can okay. commit to that, but I'll say anything you want me to say, Candace. I'll bark like a dog. Oh, Act Five! Akasha pulses the Kalpa Flame Roses or something. I didn't. I didn't read that last bit. By the way, look at all these fucking quests here. Too many quests. We already discussed things a bit. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. I missed you, you too, dear. We can start now. Very well. After some discussion debates, the group finally works out a detailed plan Jeez. together. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come on. <laughs> know what you're See her eyes say. narrow just a bit. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. She's she's great. 
You don't want to disappoint Candace. Well, traveler. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. We'll make our move on the next Nyagaba day. Uh, Nyagaba day. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a <laughs> Your safety is the most important thing. Oh, like listen to Everyone her sweet voice. Again, plan be successful. I'll be here in the village praying for you. She's so sweet. Who's Shara Kirby? I don't know that name. I mean, it's not that I re I don't recognize her voice necessarily. I just like her, and I always feel like when I like a voice actor enough, I should recognize her name. <laughs> mm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I forgot for a second that he was on our side. She plays the nun in Master Detective Archives Rain Code. I do remember the nun. I quite liked the nun. All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. I'll mm. take that as a compliment. Okay, hmm. sure. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? Certainly possible. Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermensoul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. Gotcha. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! Tonita. Oh, In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Yes! Kisimori. Are you going to put more weird stuff into her head again? <laughs> What's that look on your face? Are you scared? <laughs> Chicken. I want you to record something into this capsule. Me? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Good. I'm ready. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay, I'm imagining it. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Now, open your eyes. And put it into the orb. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. Some stirring words have been written on the note. Although you didn't quite understand the purpose of the story, you followed his instructions for the theater it's plan. Done. What a fascinating experience. Is what did it say? Okay? Does anything hurt? I'm fine. It's just a recording. But then you went to All Haytham for suggestions. Had I known All Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Can you give me more specifics? We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Gotcha. Okay. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is Doesn't no sound too bad. Way. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. That's good. <laughs> Glad to hear that. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now you're making this hard for me. <laughs> hey, is there something we can do to help? I can help. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> On behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. Raman, you turned out to be an alright guy. Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. There are a squad of air mites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akhmar. A million. A million of them. Involved. Got it. Please wait a moment. I'll contact them immediately. Well, you guys aren't really rushing. <laughs> You're much more friendly to us. Because I trust you. Okay, <laughs> I'm happy with that. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted mm. attention. This is like not the time they want to be throwing a spanner in they the works. They don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. Considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot this of thought. This is all a part of their plan. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. We're about to if you remember, give them exactly what they need. Our... Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? It's it AI. I don't question it. the entirety of Sumeru. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are mm -hmm. part of our behavioral mm -hmm. logic. But can this you is true. guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? You're right, and this is how we're going to win. I'm so glad that this is settled. 
Next time, pay attention you, uh, during our meeting. <laughs> did you just recap the entire meeting? <laughs> I'm confident we just can do this. To stay vigilant. Oh, Paimon's little nod was cute. She will be working with me. The construct next to her is for her work. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way her, her eyes were going apart as well. Her hair is as bright as the sun. Is this the latest technology from the academia? Yeah, take a bite. It's fully edible. Can I grab myself this thing while I'm here? No! <laughs> it's like they purposefully put that right in the... the Cutscene zone. You're here early. Maha Mahamatra reminds me of like Mahapahit. Mahapajit. Majapahit. <laughs> they are our only leads for the case. If they die, good. We will be unable to continue the investigation. Good job driving this home. This is important. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west. Make preparations and be ready. <laughs> they should all just charge us and surrender immediately. Oh my god! Halt. There are four of you! Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Good acting, Raman. Raman. Here we go. It's fun, like, fighting the the Aramites, knowing that this is like a a fake fight. But I'm I'm not going easy. <laughs> He's like, whoa, you couldn't have gone a bit easier on me? Not use your, like, massive lightning attack? Okay. Who else we got? You? Owned. Owned. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. <laughs> this guy sounds like he's doing a Patrick Warburton impression. Well, that went pretty well. So far, so good. This part of the plan went really well. Yeah. What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? I have a we don't want him to be miffed. Relationship with Tainari. Dunya? This girl's name is Dunya when there's already a Dunyazard? I bet when she introduces herself to people. People will be like, what's what's your name? And she goes, Danya. And they go, oh, I get it. Danya business. Or whatever. Yeah. Like Nanya. Nanya business. Anyway, doesn't matter. Most important of all. Here you come rolling in yeah, I was making Danya jokes. To get... Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make sure mm -hmm. he won't get in our way when we rescue Lester. That is Nali. exactly what I'm thinking about. Then, depending on what we learn... We'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. The sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. Wouldn't expect you to become my bodyguard. <laughs> you should be honored. I am. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. Like, do bodyguards would do give hugs? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy, dear. <laughs> you should smile more, love. I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. Aw, look at that. <laughs> Looking good. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. Not to say... Kinds of smile. Your victory. Not to say um, men's smiles can't be pretty or that men's smiles being pretty is a bad thing, but is it still pretty smile? Does she still say pretty smile if you're um, playing as male traveler? I kind of want to rewatch this scene as as male traveler to see if it if it's that or if it's something different like handsome smile maybe. Let's go. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. Found it. Uh, she does say pretty smile with the with the guy. I like that. I'm glad. I'm glad it's pretty smile no matter what because you know guys can have pretty smiles too. I just I thought for sure that it would be like gendered language. <laughs> pretty smile would be for the girl and handsome smile would be for the guy. But nope. Tanari! Hi, Nari! Paimon. And you are? My new girlfriend. Hey there. Uh, what is this important thing you want to ask me? Have you ever met the Doctor? Doctor Who? I want to know where he is. Doctor. He left Paradis D.I. just a little while ago. Okay. <sighs> he left already? Yeah. He came looking for me. Ooh, personally? You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. 
I'll also get <laughs> Great. So the reasonable. You mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hapasia away with him. Yep, thought that would happen. Well, because she got the um vi the div divine what whatever. Take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Like we knew she was going to be a target, right? He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. Mm. Ooh. Mm. But you're right. Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? <laughs> his design is so cool. Given the way in addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I don't I really trust you! Her treatment ...and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? You fucking have... Hapasia was born in Sumeru ...cords hanging off you. Of the academia. I don't trust her someone like that. ...has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. <laughs> Good job, Tainari. What a legend. Do you sort up to him? I would never refer a patient to someone like him. You're great. Do you I think he'll give up? No. For a protracted battle of wits, and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Yeah. Still, that means he's probably got a greater plan really in place. Oh, going back to it. I. I hope they can make those transitions a little smoother one day. I like the idea of them. I see, I see. But it always has of a weird cut. Opinion, I'm in a hurry today. What with her most mm. noble majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. Oh. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything the before Tsaritsa I leave. Tsaritsa calling for his it's return. It's just as the academia said. Can't believe he's actually leaving Sumeru. I barely believe it myself. But if that's true, the situation will be Makes us favor. a bit safer. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly But speaking, is it true? I don't want you to do anything too risky. I feel like it might be. Now that you know a little more, it should be easier for you to stay safe. Thank you for sharing the information with us, Tainari. Sorry. Being loyal to the academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the sages say. Hell yeah. That's real loyalty. I know what I'm doing. So much. We'll be on our way. Bye. Thank you, Tainari. That was very helpful. He gave us so much information. Tainari, once again, is a surprisingly According good character. To Tainari, the we'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just follow me. Okay, but I feel like I'm gonna be doing the work. Thanks to Dia's tracking skills, seems we found the right place. Don't draw their attention. Yeah, don't shut the fuck up, Paimon. Soldiers. <laughs> Let's keep going and see what we can find. Okay. Now, Stealth mission. Is oh, it is. Farewell. The doctor spoken of very. Whoop! Oh, failed the mission. <laughs> okay. Well, I was trying not to like. It's a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. Can I just walk by this way? The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I still only see uh -oh. him once or twice. I used to... I feel like that was supposed to last exactly the trip, but I... They were, like, stopped there for a while. The doctor there we is go. On that boat. Yes, he is. So if it is the doctor. So the doctor didn't lie about leaving Sumeru. Could it really be that simple? Are we sure he's not planning something? What's the matter? He, he saw us. Well. Um. But maybe he doesn't uh -huh. care. Is he waving at us? Is he waving us over? Say goodbye. Wait, what? Is he the only person on the boat? <sighs> so this was a trap. But there's nobody around Wait, us. Don't tell me that. Uh oh. They might be after Hapasia. Let's yeah, yeah. Huh? I didn't mean? think he'd be giving up on Hapasia. Hapasia once connected her consciousness to the Baladir. Oh no! Are you saying they're going to kill her? Yeah. Let's go. See, I have mixed feelings on Hapasia. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I think she rubbed me the wrong way the first time I met her, and I never forgave her for it. But I don't want her to die. I don't want to die, you know? 
Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardius Di for research purposes. That sounds like H. John what Benjamin. <laughs> With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Uh oh, Tainari. I hope you're alright. Harbinger to blame, Watcher. It is still my duty to protect oh, the shit. And safety of the scholars who ask. No one will lay a hand on you, Hypatia. Not on my watch. Uh, good job, Tainari. I'm fine. These two have really crossed the line. I want to teach him a lesson. I want to use Tainari. Like a trial Tainari. Why don't they let me do that? Bam. Oh, I got some I got some wood that I didn't have. These trees. Attack the trees. Quick, new mission. Get as much wood as I can for for furniture from this section. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's still more. Oh dear. I love that spice to what she was saying there. I'm also hitting these trees a little bit. Oh my gosh. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. She appears unharmed, but why is she so still? What's so, happening? You think this is over? Whoa. Hello, Balladeer. I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. <laughs> but, uh, where is he? Paimon can't see him, so is he a spirit? A ghost? Wait. Is it because I made physical contact with Apasia? Is the Balladeer in her consciousness? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Oh, shit. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Parties Di and made contact with Hypatia. What did you do to Hypatia? I didn't need to do anything. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hypatia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. Why? I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Mm. Hey, traveler! Prime, shut up. My is to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. It will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god. <laughs> Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Oh, she'll wipe the floor with you without help. If you can hear my thoughts, I want to ask you a question. Yes. What is it? You're acting more friendly than usual. Or am I, or am I mistaken? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. But... Are you really okay with all this? What do you mean? The Academia plans to infuse your consciousness with divine knowledge capsules. This is extremely risky. Even if the Academia's theories are correct and you manage to gain the wisdom of a god, you would probably no longer remain yourself. You will become the new Greater Lord Rukadavada for the Academia. Even if it means losing yourself, would you still want to become a god? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares but you're wrong i'm different from all of you and we know he doesn't like trust people anymore like he doesn't like born to humans become a god. to me the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing tell me just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction. Mm, you wouldn't understand. It has kind of dealt us a shit so hand. So I can hear what you're thinking. If that's a, truly what you believe, why do you keep your connection with Apasia? Surely with the power you've come to possess, you can cut her off with just a thought. Ah, she peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. Well, I saw your first, your All past. All gods need followers. So Hypatia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival oh, at the throne. Hypatia, I don't want you to be following this douchebag. My glory. Is that so? If you truly cherish your follower, you should protect her from harm. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? It seems that the doctor does not wish for her to stay in Sumeru and continue receiving treatment here. Isn't that a little suspicious? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Doesn't that make you mad? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? <laughs> the doesn't that make you mad line was a little heavy handed. Like that made it very clear what we were the trying to do. The doctor has my listener. 
You will be rewarded. He's an entertaining villain. I like him. That look on your face. What are you planning? Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Chatted with you for a while. He's become milder, but somehow even more deranged. The storm headed. Can't be. Is Abaladia using the gnosis to change the weather? In okay, I guess we're leaving Hapatia here. Sorry, Hapatia. Hope you don't die while I'm gone. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. God damn, he got you struck by rest. lightning. With that. All the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. I'm really sorry. Why are you sorry? I might have triggered the thunder and lightning. Uh, the wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Uh, the more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. <laughs> That's honestly kind of true. The pain. <laughs> I feel like I've seen lots of doctors who are like that, who neglect their own. That sounds, uh, ambitious, I guess. Anyway, this is all way beyond me. Thing is, it, it's a as plan as that doesn't actually seem day, so far-fetched with the power they have. Food in my stomach and a good night's rest. Let's continue to keep a low profile. Awesome. Great job. I really liked that scene with the, with the Wanderer. I thought that was very cool. And I think, yes! Yes! Okay, well this is good news because I have been wanting to do some Chlorind uh, wishes and why? Why have I wanted to do that? Because she's cute! Look, that's it. That's the whole reason, right? That It's not because she's meta, it's not because I, like, you know, obviously I don't think she is meta, I think she's opposite of meta, but not... Not uh, not because she's meta, not because it'll fit with any of my teams, not because I even think I'm going to use her, but because I like her design. So let's go for it. Here we go. Let's right away do some pulls. I would also be happy, I think, like at least mildly it's happy. Good to meet you at last, Travis. Toma. I've been hearing about you for a long time now. <laughs> I'm your new buddy, Toma. As long as that's okay with you, of course. Okay, you were not who I was going to talk about, Toma. I don't care that much about you, but a new character? Sure. Um, I mean, new, as in new to me, not new to the game. I know he's been in Simpson and Toma. Um, but I was going to say, I wouldn't mind getting the new guy. I'm Kirara, a courier for Inazuma's Komania. Kirara! Rest assured, there's no destination I can't deliver to. I uh, forgot she existed. My tails? Oh, uh, I have them because I'm a yokai. A uh, Nekomara, to be specific. I forgot this character existed because I haven't like met her in the story or anything, but I do really like her and I am very happy to get her. Wow. Um, okay. Well, I mean, look already. Whoa. Sorry, this really is what I was talking me? about. Hello. Hello. I'm Sethos. What can I do for you? Actually, you know what? This seems like more of a sit down conversation. Come with me. I know a good place. That's who I was talking about that I wouldn't mind getting. And I, I, wow, that's three characters in one, in one group of ten pulls. Three characters that I don't have. That's crazy. That's really good. And I still have more pulls to go. I'm still going for Chlorins, but I'm, I'm very happy with that one. That's real great. Super, super glad about that one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get her on this, on this grouping. I'm going to. Bennett, I don't care about Bennett. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bennett, but I don't care about you. And last one, yeah. Damn, that's that's a disappointing one. I, Bennett's one of the characters I care the least about. Do I have enough for one more? I do. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just give me the girl. Give me the girl of my dreams. Here we go. She's not really the girl of my dreams. I like her, but she's not my favorite. But I thought... Okay. All right. I got the bell. Oh, another Sethos. Ah, cool. Okay. Constellation 1 Sethos. Not mad about that. Not mad about that at all. Um. Yeah, I mean... 
Oop. Okay, well, let's level up Bennett first. He's on Constellation 3. I know, I think Bennett is, like, surprisingly good. But I just don't... I don't care about him. Okay, so, uh, what is this? The crit rate of Shadow Piercing Shot is increased by 15%. Hell yes. I don't really know, um... Yes! Oh! That's great, because I've been looking for Sumeru, um, resources recently. And I've been like, man, I wish I had a character that that showed them on the map. Fuck yes, Sethos! Oh, that's a huge pull then. In a party of animals who produce foul roll meat or children will not be started when party members approach them. Oh, that's cute. So I can kill them easier. Um, and then Toma. I have fishing. Okay, I don't care about fishing. Um, awesome. I'm very happy about Kirara because... I like her a lot. I'm very happy about a Constellation 1 set S. That's, that's going to be huge. That's going to be great. I, I do want to start building him as well um, when I when I can. I mean, I can, I guess, you know, start doing it now and see how I go. Max level reach. I can level that up once. That's good. I've unlocked Black Kites Enigma. I can keep going. Good. And now I can't do the next one because I have to beat some solitary suwani but that's still good that's a good start and i got an acquaint fate out of that that's so good that's so good um it's wanting me to choose one of these or whatever i don't care i <laughs> i'm not i'm not pulling on that um yeah amazing absolutely amazing mm -hmm. who is behind it uh well that's the tough part what should I say, Traveler? The Fatui or the Balladeer? Let's go with the Balladeer. Oh, I know I also asked us to tell you this message. Oh, yeah. Trust your own senses and experiences. <sighs> All right. I'll remember Does that. Does that mean anything to you, or is it just nice words? Well, what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? <laughs> you know, to fire... That's not his strong suit. Personally. I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. Then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to leave. Yeah, I don't know so find more why they're we're expecting that stuff from our hate all of you act well. Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. I guess that leaves it to my employer. Oh, what, <laughs> Traveler is yep. is a good talker. She asked for a smile as a payment. Yeah. What are you all doing here? Huh? Oh, it's Nilu. Hey, I'm not disturbing you, am I? You're never not disturbing me. I was actually just about to go find you. Nilu, are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Huh? Wait, you're seriously inviting me? Out on a date. <laughs> I love Nilu. I shocked at first, but it isn't long before she's bubbling with excitement and... I... Oh, right. <laughs> the Traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru. But you are awesome as well. <laughs> That's right. I, I must admit that I'm a little. Scared, I like when people who use I'll try my best for lesser Lord slightly more traditional language using the term awesome. I'll use my abilities to help you. Then count me in. Because you know them, they're saying it in in like inspiring awe. Okay. I'll get my friends in like in the way it's properly to supposed to be tomorrow. used. Just That's awesome. Not to finally conclude this meeting. Tomorrow we're going to save a god. Thought up what you'd like to say, boss. It's hard to believe everything that's happened to now. And our actions will bring change to many things tomorrow. Yep, yep. It's a grand plan and we're all super awesome. That's right. So, just get a good night's sleep, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I've had my place to myself recently. It's been nice and quiet. Uh-huh. Oh, um, nothing. Yeah, okay, what? Let's all go home and get a good night's what does that mean? Can be up early tomorrow. Okay. So what? What's this place normally? Why is it not normally yes, quiet to himself? Everyone. Who stays with him? Oh wow, that was uh, that was the end of a of a of a mission. Um, well, I think that gave us enough to do a temple. Oh my god! Oh my god! Here's where we get chlorine. I bet you. Ready? Here we go. I don't know. I doubt we do. But I'd love to. Okay. 
Here we go. Here we go. Another Sethos! I don't mind another constellation for Sethos. That's actually kind of cool. I am Clorand, a champion Clorand. of the court of Fontaine. If you wish to hire my services, please state the nature of your dispute. You may leave out any extraneous details. Those are no concern of mine. Amazing. <laughs> That's so good! I got her! That's so good! Oh my gosh. I'm glad I got her early in her banner. Now I can save up for the rest of the banner. And, um, and I feel, I think they're going to do a, f I think I remember someone saying they're going to do a Farina, um, banner soon. And I really also want her, even though I haven't seen her in the story or anything yet. I know I'm going to love her. I know. I just know it. Okay. What's the second constellation? I already had one constellation. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. Second constellation. When any of the following conditions are met, Sethos gains 15% electro damage bonus for 10 seconds that may stack twice with each stack duration counted independently. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, consuming elemental energy through aimed shots. You must first unlock the passive talent Black Kite's Enigma to trigger this condition. Regaining elemental energy by triggering elemental reactions using Ancient Rite, the Thundering Sands, and using Secret Rite, Twilight, Shadow Piercer. That's very cool. That's very cool. That's really cool. <laughs> it's great. Like I just, I, I love the idea. We're gonna continue to continue to level this motherfucker up, get him stronger and stronger, because I actually do want to use him. I think he'd be cool to use. Um. And then, of course, let's check out my girl. <sighs> Uh. Oh, <laughs> that's so fucking sick. It's cool, like, just when you see the newer characters, because I feel like they've improved at ad animations and such. So her, like, idle animations can be fucking dope like that. That's really cool. Oh my god. Oh, she's awesome. Um, okay, yeah. Got uh, a blade. There's all this stuff. Um, now, I don't know what her talents are, are like. Well, I fought with her. I remember I, I did the test run of her. And something really cool was, like, this gun thing can, like, it just makes her start shooting people. Like, you just click this button and then you have guns and you're shooting people with them, which is really cool. Um... So, uh, but this is what I want to know. Yes! She's one of these characters! That's gonna make it so much easier. They, these are always the best passives. Like, these are my favorite passives in the game. The ones that tell you resources unique to whatever location. And now I have one for... I think I have one for everywhere now. Oh! <laughs> is this fucking great? Favorite food. I like meaty dishes in general. She's the perfect woman. Do you need me to go over the game plan again? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to, like, figure it out as we do it. Academia knows that's where the Grand Sage's console is. There's a device of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's that she once used to isolate herself while men. Oh, so they use it as a weapon. Years ago. The Grand Sage at the time modified the device so that it can no longer be controlled from the inside. Ah, uh, <laughs> trapping one god with the power of another. <laughs> That's a really cool concept. <laughs> That's really cool. How are we gonna get to the Grand Sage's office? Don't forget, today is Nagarbaha Day. Nagarbaha. Everyone should be in position. All that's left is for us to lead the charge. Let's go. Uh, so are we just gonna walk in through? The <laughs> Good question. Or? Yes. Were you expecting a stealthier approach? Kinda, I was imagining Ocean's Eleven. I haven't seen it, but what I imagined is like... <laughs> Hannah, you are cute. Sit, you are also cute, but you're more like basic girl. Hannah's like more interesting, look at her. I don't mean to, actually I shouldn't compare you two women, you're both beautiful. Wait, are you Scribe Alhatham? Yes. Will you... Give me That's an autograph. Nice. And, um, 
Also, please don't bring outside guests into the academia. <laughs> the expression. I love the expression. Outside guests. How did you arrive at such a conclusion? <laughs> Your grand a blonde haired traveler. You're so making him create his own story, which means he's going to come so up with a logical explanation. Start, all right. Thank you for your contributions to the academia, scribe. It's great. You get him to come up with the story. And if you get him to come up with the story, then he's not going to poke holes in it because it's his story. And he wants to prove himself uh, strong what the heck and smart. Now? What did he just guess? I'm afraid I don't know either. <laughs> mm -hmm. He convinced himself of yeah. the truth he came up with. <laughs> it's great. That is just a waltz right in. The academia marches to a fast beat, especially since it's Nagarbaha Day. They're all occupied with their own matters. Can't believe you're saying Nagarbaha with a straight face. No. Although, to be fair, when we get up to Fontaine, I know it's going to be the Oratrice Mechanice something Cardinal or whatever <laughs> that they're going to be saying with a straight face. Genshin comes up with some What's weird names. It's a lip. If you wish to know his location, look behind you. <gasps> <gasps> oh shit. What's great uh -oh. Two of Sumeru's most esteemed guests. I do apologize for my lack of decorum. It's not too late for you to stop. Next. The foot traffic here renders this place unsuitable for discussion. Please follow me to my office. Oh, how about I just we just talk about this in front of all of your fucking losers, collars? Reveal all your secrets. Air out all your dirty laundry. So I still have many responsibilities to attend to. There is little time for idle chit chat before I detain you all. The Fatuya not to be trusted. Mm. You seem to know quite a bit about our endeavors. If that is so, then you should be praising our great work. This is a cool room. Than using creating a god. Yes, we are using human wisdom to create a god. Oh my if god. Um, oh, your god, I guess. Then with your degree of knowledge, you cannot even comprehend such an emotion. What about Nahida? Gods exist on a plane that far eclipses humanities. Lesser Lord Kusanali. What can she even do? Well, if you let her go, maybe she'll... Fend off sandstorms. Yes. Fabricates... Here's the investigation report you had requested. It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler. Uh -oh. An array of information about her, ready for your perusal. Uh oh. Well, hey, them. So you're, you're still I think I'm. I'm hesitant because, like, what if he's. What if he's doing a a play? What if he's doing a play right now? I don't know. Um. But he, he might not be. Hmm. I don't know, because I like how Haytham. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. Yeah. With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions Shit. will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. Oh, God. Furthermore, your data will be updated in real time whenever new information presents itself. It was greatest penalty for dishonest persons. <laughs> Shit. Um. Does that include your general Mah Mahatmatra? Are you not familiar with the concept that great responsibility begets an equally great suspicion? In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. Locking you down will greatly decrease the chance of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. You're despicable! Well, are we fucked? <laughs> is someone else gonna come in and save us? Mm. If our Haytham is really against us? But I, judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Am I correct? So far. Maybe Bowman shouldn't have mentioned Sino. <laughs> academia plan. If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali and I mean, <laughs> the Grand Sage is smart. The academia I guess when you're the leader of you scholars. Status great work. You said that I betrayed the academia, but you was on. You've betrayed all of Sumeru. Betrayed its art. Mm hmm. So flight has turned to fight at long last. Guards! Are we fighting? Is it fight or is it cutscene? It's cutscene! Oh, yes. We gonna see how Haytham fight? Are we gonna see. What's going on? Whoa! Oh, 
Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Mm -hmm. Traitor! You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. This is really interesting. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Ulf Haytham? Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Azar! Oh ho ho! He has gone completely insane. Oh. Take him to the Matra and exile him to Aru village. No. Then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. What the fuck are we gonna do? We finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. <clears throat> Is that a smile? Nilu? Now you're part of the plan? Oh my gosh, it's... <laughs> This is like a heist movie where it's like you don't know exactly which parts are part of the plan and which parts aren't. Go back to dad. <laughs> 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 That's enough, Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. There. It's all part of the plan. Huh? Marvellous. <laughs> being. <laughs> Yeah, try not to say it too loudly, Paimon. Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. <laughs> Let's review what we discussed during our strategy right, meeting. Right. Paimon thinks it went something like... Flashback now? Oh, no wonder you've been wearing your Akashi terminal today. It's the one that all hate them modified. <laughs> Thank God. I remember... The... Were they being careless? The plan... They think the Akash is completely under their control, yeah. We try to connect with Nahida. This is an interesting containment cell. Like, a cell that has like a circular... is really interesting. <laughs> it's like a, kind of a cool little room. And it has so many books and stuff. Connecting. Connecting. Hi, Nahida. Hello. Hello, Nahida. Are you there? Is this a realm of consciousness? <laughs> there she is. Hey, girl. Nahida's not moving. She really has sealed off her consciousness. I need to think of a way to wake her up. Oh, there's a wall there. What is this? It looks like some sort of barrier. Is Nahida using this barrier to isolate her consciousness from the outside world? Nahida! Yes! Traveler actually fucking hey, talking. Nahida! Oh! Dang it. She isn't reacting. Seems like she can't sense me. <laughs> when did it first start? Okay, because we cut to like sort of Nahida's perspective. Oh. So it was like we can't hear her. It started from the moment I was born. Okay. I become a worthy archon. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Kept looking for a way to save Ermin Soul, so I can catch up, catch up to Greater Lord Rukatabata. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Sarastana. The sages are creating a god to replace me, and mm. I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Nahida. <laughs> what now? Is there really nothing I can do? She's right here in front of me. 
I can't just give up like this. I had already left her behind once when the doctor first appeared. I can't yeah. do that again. I liked that image. Oh, shit. Traveler's gonna break through. It's, it's so quiet here. Mm. Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do our guns have them? Should our guns have them? Oh. Have I been doing the right thing? Oh, no. Really not needed? Oh, no. This is getting me emotional. Really feel about all of this. It's so quiet here. Since you're the god of wisdom, you've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't Who you? Who is that? Is that Great Lord? Who are you? Great Lord Rickard Devada. Voice is that? You're right, though. I won't. I won't ignore my own voice anymore. This is actually getting me emotional. I really like this. Mahita! We broke through. Uh, uh, Nahida. Please have a full conversation with voice acting. <laughs> you should have been angry ages ago. I'm crying partially because of Nahida's stuff and partially because huh? just oh, you're back. How's everything? just hearing Traveler's voice acting like I I don't realize how attached I am to Lumine until she speaks. Until we hear her speak. And I'm so attached to her. <laughs> and it's just like... I don't know why it's so special to me, but it's so, so special. And it's like, there's part of me that I don't know what I want in that, like, do I want everything of Travelers to be voice acted? Kind of, because I love Travelers voice acting and I love that. But also, do I not want it because... Then it will be like moments like that are so special hearing her voice, you know, but I think I'm just happy with either one, but I, I truly, I genuinely, I like, I don't think it would have been as visible because like it's the reaction is like a small box in this, but like I had tears rolling down my face. That was, oh, no, he is awake, man. Whew. Loved that. Loved that stuff. I really like the storyline they're doing with Nahida. What the fuck? We get to play as Nilo now? <laughs> this is a cool concept. And look, she can dance. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, I know that's just, like, her, probably her character's normal E, but it's just fun that they're letting me do it here. Because they're just, it's just like, oh, she can just regularly dance, you know? Nilu, just press the dance button. Going? We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help out. Well, yeah, he said we. Thank you both. Don't be such a douche. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. Nilo must be someone who she would uh, like think that all guys are constantly arguing with each other like just every day at all times because whenever she's around she's like a pretty a very pretty and kind and refined and talented girl that like every guy is basically trying to one-up each other in front of her <laughs> and so she would just assume that's how 
men are, just in general. They're just, that's how they talk regularly and doesn't realize that it has anything to do with her. Ooh! Cutscene, baby! seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah but i heard that public performances like these have been banned i can't believe she's doing this here. <laughs> it's the most beautiful protest in the world grand sage there's some commotion outside <laughs> how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the akasha to the guards they'll know what to do but it's a beautiful woman they're not gonna want to. Do you think we should like? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, just watch for a little bit more. <laughs> Whoa! I really like the effect on that text appearing. They ran past her? <laughs> I need to go back and rewatch that that part of the cutscene to see cuz I like sort sort of was reading the text and then I I got distracted halfway through reading the text. Okay, all right. I went and checked what it was and it was like it was like all pub public performances, blah, blah, blah. And then it changed by the looks of it to less Lord Kusanali has escaped. Go to the whatever immediately. So, all right, got Does it. This mean the plan has moved on to the next gate? Sounds like Nilo, com Nilo completed her task. It's great that everything seems to be going well. I'm glad I rewatched that cutscene. Um, when he pretended he'd been corrupted. Yeah. Oh, so that's when he did it. That makes sense. Was too nice I love... To I love having these fucking like renders of the scene. It's really cool. I think it like it like it shows off the scene nicely, but it's like a more gorgeous <laughs> like rendering of the scene. It's a time-tested trick of his. That's why he can pull off this kind of thing. Why are we complimenting him? Yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon blood boil. <sighs> Let's review our plan. A lot of people piss you off, Paimon. <laughs> Let's each take a road and herd those scattered guards back into one place. Make sure to attract their attention. Isak will be the key. You gave such an important task to that child. Will he be okay? I don't mind if he is or not. Isak is so determined <laughs> to help, so let's put our faith in him. Besides, even if Isak's he's caught, fine. The guard oh, no, we're not. Mm. We're <laughs> Are we going to be playing as Isak as Nahida? No, probably not, right? Because hey, then it'd have to like code it differently. Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away. That's a really him. funny oh, outfit. Yeah, I remember. Of course I do. Uh, are we playing as him? Well, not really. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> this is weird. It's like pretending that I'm playing as him. That was a weird scene. Oh. I need to make a choice. Interesting. So, okay, I see why they're doing this now. I'm playing as him, but they didn't, like, code in all the framework for, like, you know, designing him as an entire character, obviously. Let's have a look behind the house. Oh, no, really? Are you serious? <laughs> City center. Oh, no. Well, that's bad. This place is... Gather yeah, them all. Isn't it one heck of a yeah. Place? Everybody's here. This as a business competition or a personal. I think Dia could handle all these guys on her own. Trap. Stop thinking of yourselves as hunters. Behave like the prey you are. Oh shit! I wanted to say that to me. 
The academia has quieted down. This is such a unique mission structure. Ceremonies. That's impossible. The academia is heavily guarded today, and any order to release Lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, I'll hear from the traveler are already in our hands. What manner of trickery did they employ? <laughs> this is a great plan because it is so confusing from their perspective. The Akasha indeed contains this information. And it clearly appeared in my mind. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? Was it the report about the traveler that Al Haytham submitted? No. I specifically. This is great. Message. Like seeing him try to figure it out. Have you been to the sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali has indeed escaped? No, they haven't. <laughs> no, I, they I just haven't. take uh, the things in the Akasha as truth. Expensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying. Doesn't make any sense. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? Exactly. What the Akasha decrees is fact. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? <laughs> Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? In the beginning. This is the who asked you to problem with your the way you're doing things, Azar. Legacy left by Greater Lord Rukadavata. Impossible. Oh shit. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Make yourself look invisible or something? Oh no. Okay. Huh? She really appeared oh. again? What is the meaning of this? What a comical sight is are. Oh shit. Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can <laughs> see what's right in front of him. That's so you cool. can only see the world in your mind. So now, how about judgment? In the name of a god. Hell yes. Hell yes. Cutscene or what? Or what are we looking at here? What's happening here? No, back to us, okay? How long do we have to wait? Aren't you scared that we might be locked up in here for the rest of our lives? <sighs> I mean, in 12 hours I'm eating you, Paimon. Yes? Question mark? Yes, question mark? Yes! Exclamation point. Hello, dear. Hello, dear, dear. You were scared out of your witch just a moment ago. Paimon, I doubt oh, you could rub her shoulders English. effectively. I bet there's fucking muscles there that you wouldn't be able to do anything. You've got tiny hands and you're weak. And Dia is fucking strong as shit. Look at the way, like, her eyes, like, looking towards me. It's like she's waiting for me to break, save her from the conversation. How's Things Nahida? In the, city and the Grand Sage is in his custody. Mm. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands. Jesus, so yeah. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. Oh, so, cool. Hurry to the sanctuary of Surasthana. Assuming nothing weird happened, we should have already rescued our Archon. Uh oh. Assuming nothing weird Honestly, happened. I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this. Way. Why'd they cut it? Why is we this this part happen off screen? Archon, you know? Then there's got to be a reason that it happened off screen, right? Like, it's like, oh, great, we've saved her, but I don't know. Did we? Did we really? Like, I don't think the Grand, Grand Stage is a fighter, so it would make sense if Sino didn't get a cutscene fighting him or whatever, because the Grand Stage would have gone down quickly. And I mean, I'm fine with the fact that, like, if, the, if we just go there and it's fine and we're all great and our plan worked without a hitch, then that's great. Oh. Nahida. You're out. You're free. Hello. They say it's nice to meet you. Aww. <laughs> we've met in real life. Before, we've only met in dreams. We were online friends before. But when I was in someone else's body, girl. My concept of self has become so clear. <clears throat> but now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Saving Ermin's soul. For all the things the Academia did to me, and for all the folly it committed in the name of wisdom, as their Archon, I will make them pay. Damn. Ah, to be a better Archon, 
I first need to better myself. If you haven't even figured out how to be a caterpillar, how can you be a butterfly? Yeah, now you sounded like an icon of wisdom. If we don't stop the God creation plan in time, we'll be in for a tough fight. We got this. Don't worry, Nahida. We saved her! Okay, that's good. I was worried when they, like, sort of off-screen saved her, but then we got that that seat well, anyway, so it's all good. Take a walk around. It's a small device they put together just now. It's so weird. You can think of it as an upgraded Akasha terminal. You may not need it right now, but it should be helpful in certain situations. It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks completely different from you. Oops, but you're the traveler's irreplaceable friend. Yeah. You're so good at comforting people, Nahida. If only the traveler was as <laughs> What the as fuck is wrong with you, Paimon? This is cool. Really the way we need to go? Oh, particularly strong obsessions. Yeah. One is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. The other obsession is probably related to his past. I can't quite explain it. I'm obsessed with not being betrayed anymore. Okay, let's fill her in on the whole thing. Ah, I see. All right, time to go. All right, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Hey guys, it's we're actually fighting. Here we go. Okay, there goes that guy. Owned. Okay. Meow. Meow. Jump off onto here. I guess. Yep. And then climb over here. He fell off. He fell off. Right. Oh my gosh. Are you serious, dude? Are, are you serious? Like when I actually. Oh my god. That's so annoying. Ooh, boy. Ooh, baby. I feel my temperature rising. There's no way I was going to miss that. Now, is this dumb if I just like... It is. What? They count that as out of... That's stupid. <laughs> That's dumb. Girl, girl, girl. You gone and set me on fire. Okay, there goes that guy. Oh, there's another guy. Little uh, elevator comes up. Cool. So far, this is a pretty fun little dungeon. You know, I'm having a good time. Aww. <laughs> hey, let's continue on. I can sense his aura from here. Okay, how close are we? Is he? Are we like? Is he like right on the other side of this door? Or that gave me the vibe of like he's like right here. Oh, cutscene. He's right here. He's right here. Oh. Cutscenes are so exciting in this game. I'm not eager for your birth. I remember you, Boor, the god of wisdom. Boor. Standing beside you, the traveler. Is he all knowing and powerful now, like greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. Mm. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <laughs> Too late? This looks like a boss fight, boss fight. Already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. Now you're gonna be the wanderer, I bet. Because I know you as the wanderer. Existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. <laughs> Whoa, Shoki no Kami the Prodigal. It's, aura. 
exaggeration to say this is the culmination of human wisdom. Too bad it's being used for a douche. Dishing out compliments at a time like this. <laughs> I don't think he's reached the spiritual height of a god. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you. But that's a good god thing. Of wisdom, come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Okay. Here we go, a fight! Okay, how does this fight work? What the? Okay, so he was... That was ice, this is fire. Okay, did a bit of damage there. Now electricity, what if I stand here? Am I like immune to electricity here? Nope, okay. I thought, I thought maybe if I like... What? Pick up energy blocks during the battle. Okay, I d I'm doing that. There's an energy block. Uh, I'm gonna be learning all of this. Oh shit! Oh shit, this is like Hades! Okay, got that. I will have Good. It's all good. I mean, I'm not doing an incredible job at this battle so far, but I think it's understandable. Oh, I just did. Oh, I think I see. I think I see. I think I see how it works. So you. You pick up these blocks, you charge it, and then you go to like one of these and you click T on it. And then it like da damages it or something, or does something. I don't know what it does. I'm not, I'm not really attacking it much, but I'm still like gauging out what this battle is, so it's okay. Okay, so I got this. Insignificant past. I was trying to attack his arm. Oh, oh. Activate the electro matrix to overload and immobilize. Okay. Now I'm actually doing some damage. Okay. Um. Um, 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 I don't know what doing it on the ice bit. Like, can I just do the electro one again? I can't do that electro one again. I can do this one, though. There we go. Look at all this damage I'm doing now. Crazy damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, now I have these. What does the animo one do? Anything? Whoa, I can go up! Oh, okay, so the Electro one is the useful one that stuns him. And then some of the other ones do other things that will help, I guess. I don't know what, like, water does. What does fire do? Okay. We're doing alright. Because I can't- Oh, I can use Electron again? Oh, then then we win, surely. Or at least go to stage two. I imagine that's not it. It could be, though. Could just be a pretty simple battle. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh no, okay, now he's a full. Because he was only the top half before. Now he's the full, full guy. Oh shit. Oh, this is cool and fun. <laughs> oh no. 
Okay, so far, I've done no damage. So that there, there's gonna be things that I gotta do or whatever. Like, what's this? Do I attack this? Okay. Do I, like, use fire on this thing because it's red? Or, or the opposite? Do I use, like, other things that aren't fire? I'm gonna have to figure out all this boss stuff as I go. I'm doing the tiniest bit of damage. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. Hey, I'm making progress. Ooh. I, I was being sarcastic when I said I was making progress, but it was all part of the plan. It's to show he's so much stronger than us, I think. But fucking Traveler, look at you. Oh. These cutscenes are so cool. Oh. We're going to have to get the power of Nahida to help us somehow. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh. Aww. This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Mm -hmm. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Oh shit. Oh shit. Is Nahida okay? The data collection is almost complete. Whoa, what? Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? What? <laughs> What's going on? We just concluded the 168th loop. Whoa! Did you know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of sub cycles <laughs> and samsara cycles? The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? That's so cool. <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Well, we've got information, which is Time good. Traveler, just like before, allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <laughs> All that battle experience! <laughs> more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. Oh my gosh, I mean this is... Everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. <sighs> I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. This is basically the same thing that happened in chapter 2 with like getting all the ambitions from the visions. But it's still sick. I still love it. <laughs> oh man. Fuck yes! <laughs> Meaningless tricks won't save you. Oh, yep, she's learning from her past experiences. She knows how to dodge or block that. <laughs> Are you done with your tricks? He's still trying to brag, but he is nervous, I think. This as a real battle between gods. I'll 
leave this team. She said she wasn't a fighter. The first sage, a boor. The first sage of boor? That's our title? <laughs> this is fucking sick. I love this. Oh, and it shoots at him constantly. This is so great. And I can zip to it. Oh, this is so good. They made me feel how shitty it was. Can I, like, do anything interesting to these? Oh, all right, all right. careful. Getting several of these. So I think if I keep picking these up, I, I keep powering my boy up. Oh, let's go and aim. Shoot! Yes! That's so cool! That's so cool! <laughs> this is a fun boss battle so far. It's payback time. What's he doing? The visuals in this are insane. Destroy the... Oh, gosh. I just realized I have a try on Nahida here. Can try on Nahida do anything? I don't really know how Nahida works. <laughs> there we go, does that work? I don't know what that did. Nope, that doesn't work. Target abnormal. Oh no. I think I lose, maybe? What happens here? Yep. I... That's an insta-kill right there. So I need to be more careful of that. And do more to destroy that. This is my first time doing this boss, so... Forgive me for... My sins. Oh, I'm trying to switch in the heater, actually. Ouch. Ouch. Give me this. Okay, there we go. Okay, do this and then hold T. Wait, hold E, I mean. Aim. No. Did I hit him? I missed him. No, he moved at the last second. Oh, wait, but it doesn't matter because I have it back. Shoot it. Yes. Oh shit, I need I need to heal more before I use home girl. And to heal more I need to get up close and do some fucking actual damage. Come on. Yes. Okay. Did we do it? Is he dead or is there another face? That was a cool fucking battle. I had a lot of fun with that one. Some god you are, loser. Aww. I like the music. <laughs> yes, give it. No. Wait. No, I'll know it's just now. Oh, it's it's sad seeing how desperate he is. That's mine. Don't even try. I'll never, I'll never go back. Mm. No, sorry. Oh, splatter his head. Oh. yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Herman Soul is still waiting to be saved. Mm -hmm. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. Okay. This is... That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. Last memory 
of Greater Lord Ruka Devada. This is a really cool mission. <laughs> this is really great. I wonder what this is going to be, though. Is this going to s be, like, a lot? Don't worry, it should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. <laughs> what does that supposed to mean? Um, wow, I mean, this is, this is crazy. How much more of this mission is there? In the air, it feels like this the act has been two acts already. And there's even more. Let's get rid of this guy first. These fucking loser range dudes can be super annoying. Oh no. Okay, that's okay. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No. It seems that my birth and yeah. her death took place I mean, at the same time. I imagined you were sort of like a reincarnation of her. I think she would have given me a little more guidance. You're like the Avatar. Like Aang and Korra couldn't meet. Properly, you know. Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her. In real life. So, is this the place you were talking about? Mm-hmm. This a is the one. Looks nicer now. I remember it looking really horrifying. The one standing over there is... It's just Nahida. Wow. Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes, that's me. Are you surprised by my appearance? Wow. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. We are manifestations of the same nature. Okay. As my new self in the samsara. <sighs> if this is true, then am I going to be a great archon oh. nope. all things have their own fate <laughs> so no you're going to be when terrible it grows into a mature tree it won't be the same as the original tree yeah you're going to have your own run my fate is the ultimate knowledge isn't it that's a great insight don't yes, compare yourself to great lord rickardvada precisely why you won't become like me uh, really oh. but perhaps you may become an even greater archon than I. Yeah. I, I love her voice, Rika Devada's voice. Experiences. There's knowledge that even the god of wisdom can't understand? At that time, what I if it's just gibberish? I the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone, which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom mm -hmm. and named it the Akasha. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. Yeah, and it's kind of been used for bad, but still good. And then... I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Ermin's soul. Mm -hmm. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, but vile corruption as well. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Damn. And my pollution from Ermin's soul forever. Did we make you proud? No, I can't. <laughs> so you realize what that implies? That you're, you is it that you're kind of killing her essentially? Ermin's soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, removing me from Ermin's soul means. World forget me, right? Have existed in this world. So, world forget me is like the world will forget Greater Lord Ruka Devada? People love you so much and. Oh. And they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. This is so cruel. I don't want to forget you. <laughs> no need to feel so sad, Boor. <laughs> As someone who delights in wisdom. Nahida's <laughs> voice actor does a very good job at the emotional the scenes. Answer. Let the world completely forget me. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, we all nestle that's great. under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth, and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. <laughs> Once upon Aww. a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. 
wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous <laughs> worlds, all of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. Oh, <laughs> the tears are really well done. <laughs> I gradually understood Aww. that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Oh, you can see her Only disappearing. Dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. <laughs> I feel so bad for Nahida. Oh, that's really heartbreaking. They're animating her crying really well. <laughs> oh my god. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer. And I shall return all the dreams to the people. Oh, that's cute. Yes! Heal her! Oh my god, yes, I was about to say, heal Kole. Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest <sighs> of dreams. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I love that. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm just a little confused. Is she confused because she doesn't know why she's crying? I just saved the world, right? So why? Why am I crying? Yeah. I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. Oh my god. Just I'm crying. <laughs> we removed the remaining pollution from Merman's soul. <sighs> Good question. Yeah. What's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Oh yeah, only I remember it, yeah. No, I don't tell them. Don't tell them. Whoa! Buzzing? Is this something stopping us from telling them? Like, um, like in ReZero, you know, why you can't tell anyone else about Return by Death? What's that sound? I feel super sleepy. Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? I saw. I've been waiting here. It was the doctor. <laughs> Time I wasted has finally paid off. His voice is so great. What have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on God. His voice is so good. Like, the resonance. It lacks an important dimension. That... Of time. He's saying you can time so travel? Segments what? Of all my ages and made them into oh. Independent individuals. It's all so there are like younger versions of you and older you versions? Know. Is that what you're saying? How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's an insult to the very concept of life. <laughs> it inherently has many rules and restrictions. It was my experiment. So why should I interfere <laughs> with the results? <laughs> He's a very interesting character. <laughs> Goal. Oh, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right. That's enough conversation for today. The experiment is... I'm getting a lot of inspiration from this character for my D&D character. <laughs> claim this is great. Materials. For example... The no, 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 no. No, you can't take the Gnosis. They can't keep taking the Gnosis. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that Electro Gnosis. They keep taking... Fatui keep taking the Gnosis. What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the heavenly principles? Awaken. 
the heavenly principles. Hmm. Eh? Destruction of a gnosis attract the attention of the heavenly principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Interesting. Do you dare to gamble such ability <laughs> with me? Damn, Nahida. Gamble? I think the doctor would be interested in that. As the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What <coughs> price would you have me pay? How about erasing all your other segments? Ooh. <laughs> so this is how you wish Ooh. to restrict me. The most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare Yeah, that's why she's getting you to get rid of them. Of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. <laughs> a suitably wise decision on your part. Oh, he's a great character. It's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis... Okay. Then so we are still giving them the gnosis. But we're weakening the, the doctor, kind of. Is the of you really that bad? Perhaps it's best to say... You're just temporarily ahead. This is what a really like cool cutscene. Is... Have you confirmed that it's complete? Here. Take it. The Sumeri City will be in my hands alone. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Is that part of the deal? Greedy. Yeah. No, this is a different transaction. <laughs> if you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? It's all about I exchange some knowledge with you. Knowledge? People exchanging knowledge with the God of Wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange... What if the knowledge is about where my brother... Like what my brother's doing? Ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? What? Huh? <laughs> yeah. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, we've all gotten what we wanted. So are we, is she giving him the Dendro like. Gnosis as well? Okay, so is it cutting away now? That was a really interesting cutscene. Several days later. Okay, okay, okay. Kole? Says it's time for breakfast. <gasps> Kole? Get up. Good morning, Kole? Paimon. How are you feeling today? Pretty good. Please have a taste. I hope you like it. it. Kole, I love you, it but it looks like shit. That looks me. awful. Well, now that I love you so much, but that's are, terrible. I'm feeling better than ever. I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad Collie's better. Oh, oh, I've also heard that you've become heroes here as well. That's amazing. We're just doing our part. Sometimes I'm really envious of strong and confident people like you. But you're amazing, Collie. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. <laughs> the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. I appreciate that's a lot of lot to ask. Collie has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Don't. Not to mention me. You see, it's a party. Some VIPs have come to the forest recently. Huh? VIPs? Very important, Paimon. <laughs> well, speaking, they are former VIPs. <laughs> what a dumb joke! I like it. Incidents have begun their training. Okay. You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. Yay! Will do. <laughs> You're a good guy, Tainari. You're a good guy, and we like you for it. Hey, Hello, Nilu. Then almost everybody has good taste. Yeah, who hates that? Paimon thinks everybody will love her performance. That's right. We all think she's amazing. That's too. right. <laughs> that one line sounded very nerdy for some reason. I guess is that he's with Dia. Oh, are they an item now? I just hope she's feeling better. Yes, I can't wait to meet Dunyazad. I was afraid of disturbing her. If you have time, 
Please ask about her for me. I'm I'm really excited to see Dunya's ad now that we've cured her fucking ermine sore disease, whatever it was called. We have arrived. Bring us a feast. Just admiring the women's designs. So you're talking with someone. Down that worthless book and tell me is this Cave? This is not just some worthless book. I almost became a sage. Huh? No, <laughs> huh? Don't sound too surprised now. You're the renowned Cave. Cave, like yep. Kasharawar. Huh. What makes you say that? Needs to have brother energy. Felt sincerity. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> It seems that you really can't stand my personality. Huh. What was your first clue? Well, <laughs> you might as well move out of my house. Oh, this is who was in his house. Stooping to a new low, I see. Hold on, uh, wait a second. What do you mean by when Sumeru needed me? Well, this is a pretty important time in Sumeru's While history. You were out fiddling around in the desert, many people came together to save Sumeru from a crisis. What nonsense. He keeps going, huh? <laughs> It's no skin off He's getting so shocked in this conversation. It's here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. You wanna ask us? We're just standing over here. Okay. Cool little conversation. Hello, I how they them? <laughs> it's you two. I only now have some free time to attend to personal matters. Always been so busy with your work? Of course. Well, not. This is... I'm only busy these days because several sages have been. Yeah, <laughs> this is a pretty the big time. Dunya was practically turned upside down. One of the six different types of wisdom. Numerous Darshans have spoken and faded. Cool. Only the six Darshans attaching themselves to the six great schools. The person in charge of personnel affairs nominated me to be the Grand Sage in place of Azar and help Lesser Lord Kusanali manage the academia. <sighs> but I refused. That would have been so good though. <laughs> you would have been the Grand Sage? I'm not even interested in being one of the six great sages. But! Like I said before, I don't like being a leader. Oh, that's true. That's consistent with your character. Who was that other person just now? Is he your friend? Yeah, what's his relation to you? Just roommate? His name is Kave. Yeah, just roommate. Okay. You could scholars. He didn't seem to believe a word you told him. Which is now he was your roommate. Was he your roommate? <laughs> Are you too gay? Is what I'm saying. Thanks for your hard work. Yeah, you have to come. I'll see you there. Good. I thought he was gonna go. I'm too busy to do that. But is that Paimon I hear? Huh? Oh, it's been a while. Yay! Dinner God! It's been so long since we've seen you. How about you? I can go as far as saying I have never been happier in my entire life. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Heard, but Elazar has completely disappeared. Heard, we did he it. Recovered. You know that my parents and I are fond of you and that we appreciate you very much. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be a problem if you wish to continue to be our bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a woman that's easily persuaded. Now you guys have to just be friends now. now. And put my body to the test again. I can test your body for you. I thought he was joking. We just came from talking with Al Haytham at the academia. Did he tell you that he suggested that I come work at the academia? No. What? Whoa. We didn't hear that. that is, oh, but I think Dia would look great dressed up as a scholar. Uh, I like her current outfit. Honestly. I wouldn't last ten seconds in there. The Matra have all the talent they need as long as they have Sino. Hmm. I prefer to be free to live however I Yeah, choose. I mean Dia seems happy with her decision. We shouldn't question her. Because I knew it'd be right up my alley. I'll respect your decision. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you say that. Come on, no need for the sad face. <laughs> it's not like we'll never meet again. <laughs> once the whole Dendro Archon thing is settled, everything in Sumeru will take a turn for the better. Oh, uh, did Nilu write to us? She heard that you were seen in Port Ormo, so she sent the letter here. Huh. It was probably sent to the inn that we're staying at. My lady has been very in How is no one looking at their letters? Is there some sort of dress code or anything? <laughs> Can I just show up looking like Please that? Please do show up looking Since like that. Being organized by Nilu, I don't think she'll be too picky about that. If anything, I think she wants to see us as our most natural selves. If anything, you can wear less clothing. Right, then. You're welcome. Tainari has excellent medical skills, and Kale is quite attentive. It was the best place for you. You've gotten very sweet, Sino. standing here like a dead tree? I'm meeting Oops. some people. Oh, you mean Candace? 
<laughs> Who's Candace? Candace Dick in your mouth? Yeah, the. You know me? The girl we manipulated. <laughs> Really, I feel that my whole life has started to shine after suddenly finding a new direction. Oh, it makes sense she's with Raman because of the King Deshrat stuff. Right. You're not gonna be a scholar anymore. It's not that I've given up on being a scholar. Instead, you could say I found a new identity. Oh no. Know everyone on her own, but there are many of us my, all over Sumer. My nervousness is that she's like with me and hope that I could become a um. Yes. A devout follower of King Deshret. Now, a group of smart people and it's because we manipulated her. I'll teach them. <laughs> like we changed her course of life me, against her will. Educate more people. And she doesn't even that know it. The true meaning of education and the spreading of knowledge. The but it sounds like she's doing good things. Please give a message to Miss Nilu for me. You symbolize are not only oh, I can't remember all of this. So lively and powerful. So much so that it was prohibited. Please keep dancing. Okay, write all this down in a letter, and I'll hand it to her. Looks like we're the last ones to arrive. You're here. Feels like we just might have another. They might have another Nilu dance to wrap up the uh, the act. I propose that the last one who arrived be put in charge of today's speeches. Speeches? There won't be any speeches today. Oh really? Well, even better. <laughs> he was just getting rid of himself for speech duty. This is the beast? It seems more like a picnic, which is fun too. Feast and celebration of the general grace of plan, drinks are flowing through this delicious and very beautifully arranged. Everybody eats and drinks and enjoy the performance prepared by Nilu and everyone in the Grand Bazaar. Time passes gradually in the wind of atmosphere, and the beautiful evening feels almost like a dream. Whoa. What if it is a dream? <gasps> it's luck that brought us together, and it was luck that let us form a team. Then, yeah. it took even more luck for I agree with you, Arthur. And implement it successfully. Moral but that's also a skill. Judging. We took the stage and put on our best show. I mean, for you, it literally was. You just went and danced. <laughs> The performance was a great success. So, would you say we're good actors too? That's one more talent under our belt. It's such a bitch. This should be something everybody should remember. Huh? Mm. You look so Wow, nice. that was a shocked face. I didn't say anything wrong, did I? No, everything you said is correct. This is how history has changed from something wrong. Yeah. What's with that face? Yeah. You this is how history changed from Great Lord Rick Nevada being <laughs> forgotten. Even if those two it seems that everyone forgot Great Lord Ruka Nevada. Their understanding of Sumeru's history also changed. Now everyone believes that Lesser Lord Kusanali has been Sumeru's Akron all along. Yep, makes sense. Maybe I'm the only one in Tavat who remembers the Great Lord Ruka Nevada ever existed. As a witness of all that happened, I shall respect her choice and keep the secret for her. The That's crazy. That's so insane. It's really sad that Great Lord Rick and Nevada is forgotten. Severely punished. You are the most suitable candidate to lead the <laughs> They're still arguing, but he's like Why? trying to give him a good role. From power? Already resumed work as the General Mahamatra, right? That's right. Will you be happy with that life? It's not about being happy. Well, it sort of is. A lot of things that I must do. You should be happy as well. Keep your spirits up and try to be happy. Yeah, neither. <laughs> and try to smile more every day, just like I'm doing now. <sighs> Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Nilu just pulled pulled out. You should smile more. You look so pretty when you smile. This feast is pretty good. Aww. <laughs> I like it. That's cute. I seem to have taken both keys when I left the house. <laughs> <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> but I just feel elated right now. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> so sweet. So adorable. Hey, what's wrong? Your head is starting to droop. Oh, are you getting tired, Lumine? It seems like someone is there. Is it gonna be Great Lord Rick Nevada? That's what I'm thinking. Like, are we gonna see her right now, or? <laughs> it's me. Oh, it's Nahida. Nahida, looks like my consciousness is connected to yours again. Mm -hmm. What is it? Please say thank you to everyone for me. Oh, that's what this is about. Nahida, it would be better if you could do that yourself. Oh, is it not 
not convenient for you to do that for me? No, it's just good to... Yeah, some things in this world must be done by yourself. But if I just show up all of a sudden, people will become all quiet and Aww. stuff. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she still got that the, that nervousness inside her. It'll be fine. Please don't worry too much. Have you made up your mind? Yes, I have. <laughs> and she puts up two middle fingers and then... Oh? You said I should go thank everyone as myself, right? So... Did you just go into our head? Are you controlling us? Your body for the time being. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucked up. And at least promise me you won't say anything weird when you're in my body. Yes. Hi, you know who I am. Oh. I already know every one of you. That and makes my heart so warm. <laughs> I took the liberty of occupying the traveler's body so that I could think all of you. Nilu being so excited so is my favorite thing. Me, even if that meant placing your own safety in peril. Samaru, you, you have done so much for Samaru, and I. I, I didn't even have a chance to do anything for you. Oh. You don't have to do this. Ten years odd. The suffering you endured during your illness is also proof of you being with me and <laughs> I hoped you liked the dance I dedicated to you. Oh. All of you. Thank you so much. This is like Nilu talking to, like, her, her hero. Her, I mean, literally her god. See, just like I said, everybody's very happy to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's so cute. A warm atmosphere of talking and laughter carries on late into the night. Oh, man. Whew. This chapter was good. The characters here. I got very attached to them. <laughs> Jeez, so nothing compared to Paimon. Fatty. Oh right, okay, here we go. There we got a lot of law stuff about the Akasha. You turned it off. What happened after the doctor put you to sleep? Did he take the noses? Yep. However, in spite of the bad situation. I still managed to make a fair deal. You did a really good job, Nahida. Surprisingly well. The entity that changed your fate, the Heavenly Principles. I assumed that the Heavenly Principles wouldn't just stand by and let. I don't know if he fell for it as much as he didn't want to take that place. risk. Like he, I think he knew you were bluffing, but just in case, he couldn't go for it. The exchange served as both punishment for the doctor as well as a boon of new knowledge that I couldn't refuse as the God of Wisdom. Mm hmm That was great. Okay, about the Balladeer. His future will be determined by fate. About Fontaine. Is that where you're headed next? Fontaine, the nation of justice. I'm so excited. As far as I, know, I love what I've seen of Fontaine. Operates in the judicial system. Mm hmm Does it Rarkon Fosalor will preside over individual trials? However, even then, Fosalor will still make herself present at just about every trial. Mm -hmm. It seems that she just likes to So first of all is Fedina. I think the leader of judgment is um new led or whatever. A very unique personality. One of the best character demos was Fedina. And I didn't even know she was an Archon at the time. Um I got nothing else to say. Isn't there something else you haven't asked about? About my brother? You mean about your brother? Yep. Well, there shouldn't be any information on him in an urban yeah. soul. Isn't urban soul a repository for all the information and memories of Well, except it seems like... So there shouldn't be anything on her or... It seems like my brother has, like, ha does have a history in this world, true, seemingly, weirdly. Urban soul indeed does not have any information on Because he's talked about how he, like, reached the end of his journey. There must be something different about your brother. Because, mm -hmm. as it turns out... The world has recorded information on him after all. What? There's only one possible explanation. He belongs to this world. Mm-hmm. That. So he, yeah, he, oh man. 
Is there something wrong with my memories, or is it this world that has done something to them? I don't know. I don't know that this makes any sense. Wasn't this your first trip to Tibet? Do you know what he's been through? Mm, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the descenders. Descenders? What's a descender? Paimon's never heard of it. Look, I'm sure you must be curious about the information I received from the Fatui in return for mm -hmm. my guesses, right? I a have been. The important part of the intel was about this world's descenders. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Okay. Traveler, you are Tavat's fourth descender. What? Huh? So the Fatui count three other descenders before the Traveler, and her brother isn't even one of them? Interesting. Right. My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. Okay. the other descenders... <laughs> this is cool! ...their existence. It could take me some time. Oh, Paimon's head's about to burst from all this crazy new information. That's cool, Lord Drop. Yet, then your future will be the ultimate fate. Paimon's sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. Yeah. I liked Nahida way more than I thought I would. Thank you enough. Yes, I found complete. Oh, huge, amazing, incredible. Amazing, amazing, incredible, huge, awesome. Something that I really like is like the sort of structure of like a character is trying to find something or someone and everywhere they go there's like, you know, they can't quite get the information and they have to keep looking around for them. Like that's a structure that's in, you know, a lot of stuff. I mean, it's in like the original Super Mario Bros. games. I mean, most Super Mario Bros. games where it's like, I'm looking for Princess Peach. And it's like, you get to each castle and they're like, sorry, the princess isn't here. Or um, it's like, it's, you know, it's it's a it's a common um, main character thing because it means you can keep the, um, you can keep the story going over and over again. And you can continue to like press it along, you know, Hunter Hunter, he's looking for his dad and everywhere there's whatever. Um, but what I really like about Genshin is, like, in each of these chapters, it's giving, like, legitimate lore drops and information about it. Like, it it feels like, it doesn't just feel like, oh, now they're just kicking the can down the road. It feels like we're making major progress. I thought when I was, when I stopped playing this game, I stopped it, you know, in, like, before I even finished chapter two, right? Like, before I even, um... Or, no, before I even finished chapter one, because the prologue was, was, um, what's it called? Uh, um, 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 <laughs> what am I thinking? Uh, because fucking Mondstadt was the prologue. So, uh, chapter one was fucking, why can't I think of the name? Liu Wei. I hadn't even completely finished the Liyue chapter, right? When I when I stopped playing um, Genshin years ago, and when I had thought about it, I kept thinking that this game was just gonna be a game that kept kicking that can down the road, and we would never really get many ads about our brother until towards the end of the game. But then, I when I got back into the game, I mean, you can see my reaction on on that earlier in this playthrough. But I did that mission where you find out that he's part of the Abyss Order and stuff. And it was, like, really shocking because I... Not only is it, like, a good twist, but also I genuinely thought, like, they weren't going to do that. It was just about finding, you know, your damsel and dis distressed brother. But instead, it's so much more interesting than that. So, um... So I just... I like the way this game does those big lore drops, like... It makes you excited to get to the end of a chapter because you're going to find out a lot of information before heading to the next chapter. Um, but anyway, we're not heading to the next chapter yet. We still have Act 6. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Is it, um, what's his name? D Dane? It's pretty tough to get Dane's left? <clears throat> Next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> so the address is <laughs> Exactly. Right? Your trusty buddy, Kaya. Kaya, interesting. So he's here in I don't care about Kaya that much. <laughs> Let's go see Kaya. 
I thought it would be Danes left because a lot of the final the final uh, missions involve Danes left. Oh, you gotta wait till the following afternoon. Okay, 16 o'clock. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. <laughs> oh, well then. Just the well then, stop bringing out milk, just as orange well, juice. What do you think you're doing, spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? <laughs> you working for a lecture from Dean? <laughs> <laughs> it might displease her. Aha, uh -huh, very believable. Is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry. It's been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. So why That's is this an Archon so quest? <laughs> this seems like a story quest. This is as good as the rumors say. And my roots, they're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Conria. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo, and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long Did before we the merchant delegation received news. Know about news him and Conria? I don't have a more thrilling story for you. How much do you know Honestly, about it? Not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru. Because I happened to read that in a book when I was young, my life had less and less. Wait, that was Dane's left. As I grew up, maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to keep me alive. Was Dane's well left your father? probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Hey, man. <laughs> Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albury? I like that he, Dane's Love just shows up at the end of every chapter to hang out. <laughs> then we are already acquainted. Kaya Albury, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? Of the Abyss Order's founder? I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt. Okay, well, this is why it's an Archon quest. That you take me this is some lore. Without the faintest hint of skepticism. I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conry in our ear. <laughs> I thought my sibling was the founder. Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? So what do you plan to do here, in I mean to investigate the loom of fate. Do you remember that name? Yes. The Abyss Order's evil plan. We learned about that back in Mondstadt. You got a new lead? Not new. Not exactly. The secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! <laughs> okay. Now is not the time. Are we waiting for the perfect no, moment? It's just, I'm still waiting for my drink. <laughs> that's a good bit. That's really funny. <laughs> now is not the time. <laughs> the forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here after all. That's good. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire too. That's responsible. <laughs> there are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. We could knock if first. So. Like there's nothing to stop us from knocking, just in case there is someone in there. I guess there's no, <laughs> there's no door. There really is. Huh? This is a mirror. Cool. Okay, medicine bowl, a broken mirror, and a bed. That looks pretty ordinary. I hear noises outside. Noises? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. <laughs> Just a little bit of battle to keep the player's attention. Hey guys. <laughs> and goodbye. There's <laughs> a chili floating there. <laughs> You're easy to please. We really have spent lots and lots of time together. Yeah, we're best friends. So, don't take this the wrong way or anything, but, uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? <sighs> it makes me tear up a little bit, <laughs> to be honest. I, like, I, you know, this is a funny joke answer, but. I want to be nice. Oh, you stop it. Now you're embarrassing Paimon. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but <laughs> Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your brother? The stars? 
we'd gaze at the stars just like this, and we'd point at the planets we wanted to visit. Wow. We travelled through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw all manner of hope and despair. This is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Yeah, are you two to that? <sighs> just you wait, Heavenly Principles, and you two to that. I want to give five on a hug. Thank you, Paimon. I love when they're like nice to each other. Like them, like teasing each other and making fun of each other. I mean, mostly Traveler making fun of Paimon is is funny, but it's nice moments like this where they like uh. <laughs> We're their best friends. It's so cute. Well, that's the first time I'm not going to bed before me. Oh, good night then, Paimon. <laughs> She's so sweet. Oh, where is Miss Sibling from my mind? Great. Man, Genshin's been getting me really emotional lately. Chapter 3 has been the best chapter of the game so far. By quite a healthy hey, margin, I think. Time to wake up. Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night. You shouldn't bring that up. <laughs> All right. Rest here a bit longer. Then. I mean, that's nice that I'll you're worrying about us. But you shouldn't look at me and go tear stains. You should be su more subtle about it. <sighs> or ask if I'm okay, but don't just say tear stains. By the way, we got to hear her yawning. That was cute. Huh? How did I sleep till morning? Why didn't Paimon wake me up to switch shifts? Hang on a minute. Where is Paimon anyway? Wait, where did that noise come from inside? Did that noise come from inside the house? Paimon? No reply. I should go inside and check. Halt! What do you think you're doing? Ah! This Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eye. Thought so. Said I don't know if I can trust this person's word just yet. You were nearby last night? What? Business is that of yours? Hmm? There's something strange about this person. I need to find out what he's hiding. Well, what are you waiting for? I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. Whatever. Just move aside. <laughs> I was out here all night. I'm cold. You... <laughs> this anyway. But no overreacting to anything you see in here. Oh, Got come it. on then. What? What is it? What's in there? It's a bunch of little Paimons, like uh, other Paimons. Oh, it's a Hillicho. Are you, like, taking care of a Hillicho? Why do you keep a Hillicho at home? We have Hillichos at home. Hillicho at home. <laughs> Mind your own business. Find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're from Conry, aren't you? Oh, yeah, his eyes are similar to Conry? Dane's lefts, I think. Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? I met others from Conria. Your eyes. <sighs> I follow no god, though I've, I've count some of them as my friends. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> Who place faith in the gods are my enemies. That sounds a little too black and white. Vile gods. We lost our home. Our loved ones. Everything. My God. This guy's unstable, but kind of understandably so. So. Then came the curse, robbing us any chance of release. So Ida is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. While you, yeah, why were you not afflicted? Because those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as mm. they fled, turning them into monsters. So who's this Helicho to you? He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. Oh, <gasps> this is crazy. It was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I need to kill I him to grind to get some loot. And, and, uh, I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. After all that, he turned into a hilly troll right mm. before my very eyes. That's I very sad. I always owed him much, and now I, 
At least I can finally be close what to What happened you. to his mother? She was. <laughs> we were separated. I have other things I wish to do. Okay. Interesting. Pretty interesting character. He's a little weird, but it's okay. I believe that it might just work. Where'd you hear this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> oh my <From> god. <laughs> He's really unstable. Text and happened upon it. It sounds dangerous. <laughs> What other choice do I have? Okay, it's okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Okay. Yep, take that ingredient. A mushroom? Uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand. I do have a few. I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru. I've got a lot of Sumeru roses, I think, and I've got a few Kalpalata lotuses. <laughs> Okay, synthesize the nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. Nameless taboo medicine of the royal court, there it is. Done. They do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> well, it's probably fine. The panned book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> said before that this medicine relies on the power of the god of wisdom for its restorative effects well then let me just call her up we must pay a visit to a statue of the seven i understand your reluctance he's got a wisdom power should i get in the heated help that's what i was about to say we'll just call her up forget it i had a hit to god it could complicate things Let's yeah go. okay okay fair enough would be kind of cool though being like him being like, okay, we need the power of the God of Wisdom. And I'm like, okay, yeah. Nahida! <laughs> she just comes in. Yes, what do you need? Look at me. I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. Okay, relax. Your kind destroyed my this own. isn't a good way to get your blessing. Suffering on my compatriot. Yet here I stand before you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself. I completely already. understand why he's God like this. But this isn't the way to get to what he wants. I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you <laughs> to have pity. I may not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Connery have truly suffered. Why could Connery and the Seven not coexist in peace? Yeah, that's a big problem. I... Especially with gods and quite enough of a they tend to fight. One day. That's sad. That's very sad. But oh well, he'll get over it. <laughs> the show seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. <sighs> We've prepared the medicine. <laughs> Feeds the newly made medicine to the hilly show. Are you still angry with me, Cory Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? Aww. I'm so sorry, Cory Bear, for please. It didn't work. Oh, God. Yeah. God. What more do you want from me? The little hope he had was crushed. From here. This world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Well, that's not true. There might be other reasons it didn't uh, work. Other reasons. What do you mean? Maybe it takes a full course oh, of treatment? You, uh, you really think so? Possible? Where did you get them from? I grow them. In a field? The details don't matter, right? <laughs> oh no, where does he actually get them? Just do as I instruct. If you truly wish to help me... What if he made Paimon into a mushroom? There is a water that would be fucking awful. Time to go get my thing. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. I'm nervous and suspicious. Where does he get those mushrooms from? What is he doing while I'm fetching some water? Don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Okay. Monsters, since so many of them, it looks like they're coming for this field. Does water in the field somehow attract monsters? Better fend them off. Let's get these motherfuckers. Okay. That's them done. What happened? Was it monsters? Yes, but don't worry. Oh no! Oh, the pill is in the way. I couldn't have taken them on all by <laughs> Get the mushrooms. They look like the They look like the blue mushrooms that you can find around. 
By the way, I don't like that you're using my fucking resources, bro. I don't care about your son. <laughs> I mean, I do care, kind of, about your son. But I need these resources. Hmm. Stop daydreaming. Oh, uh, once again. Okay, back to the statue. I'm skipping the... Oh! I... It, it doesn't let you fast travel to it. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it's like, kind of breaks the immersion, I guess. If I'm just fast traveling like a very short distance, but... Ribert. He left the house? Oh, he must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. Come Is he gonna on. die? What if we were just like, Dane's left kill him? That would be heartbreaking. <laughs> That'd be really fucked up. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. It's like back in the chasm when they would all like walk in there to die or whatever. Yeah. There he is. Hey man. What's up? I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. This guy's really weird. <laughs> it's really familiar, yeah. It sure is. You okay, guys, so I'm just gonna pass by you. Don't mind me. We're fighting, really? I'm not gonna fight them. The missions made me empathize with them. Is this a teleportation device? Traveler? No, I didn't mean to skip her voice line. Ooh. This place is cool. Bye, guys. You're all dead. Very well. Then I grant you the trial of destiny. Okay. You fighting me, bro? Alright. You fighting me, bro? Let's fucking do this. I'm not going easy on you. Watch this as I pull out all the tricks in a short amount of time. Look how much damage you've already taken. See how much damage I can do to you when I'm trying, huh? Oh, you put up that little thing? You think that's interesting? You think that's good? I think that's pathetic. I'm gonna destroy that fucking thing of yours so easily. There we go. Goodbye. Dead. Easy. You were nothing. I've seen similar characters before. Uh-oh. Huh? He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh no. Ooh, truly mesmerizing. And You're yet, becoming like a follower of the Abyss Order. We're able to defeat him. Growing more curious by the second and uh, more excited. Uh this is this is strange. Yeah, strange dude. Like being enamored by Illumine, I I get. But, but the you you did it weirdly. <laughs> These doors take so long to open. <laughs> what is that thing? Wrapped in chains, hanging in midair, emanating a sinister aura. There's no mistaking it. It's just like the defiled statue. Yep. Yes, it is. Ooh. So it does have something to do with the abyss order. And those worshipping hill shells remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. Yep. Heidi, <gasps> this place is bad news. We gotta go. Heidi? Oh, dear creature, as I gaze back upon the lab. Who in the world are you? What do these words mean? The voice, it's gone. Oh no. Oh no, what the fuck's gonna happen? Ida? I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> Something's not right about this place. Oh, uh, uh, is that so? Okay. We leave and return to Ida's house. Oh, weird, weird. Weird abyss order stuff. Uh, Cory Bear. Oh. Oh my gosh, I think it worked. Oh. Of course, your papa. 
<laughs> Salvation. I mean, this voice act is very good. Yes, <laughs> this, this is this is what this feeling is. That world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I dead? Well, this is horrifying. No, of course not. It's like a really I'm sad sorry, story. Man. So how could you be dead? Really? Yes. I don't know how to react to the story because it's just, just making me sad and uncomfortable. All be very confusing for you. Just rest here. I mean, it's nice that he has his son back. Oh, oh, and um. Just the whole situation is fucked. Seems like a changed man after his religious experience. Nonsense. I I even worshipped at one of their statues like a like a common fool. I don't Never think before, this is the I lesson to take from it. Like that. Hey, for, now, that was a truly Maybe we should have brought Nahida in. Nothing like Because she might have been able to help that wondrous power it was and like prove that the seven aren't horrible. I, <laughs> now he's found a different must god. Have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches not to God, say the seven are perfect, by they're the definitely not. They, uh, do Just seems like the abyss order isn't a great place devotion. for him to go. <laughs> area of expertise. <laughs> that was a not a god. His divine power. When has the seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Uh, no. lots. He I've seen the seven do lots of miracles. And his experience has deeply affected him. Not that he's particularly stable to begin with, but this religious fervor is something else. I guess I'd better catch up with him anyway. There are monsters everywhere, and I can't stand by and let him fall into their hands. What happened? It was right here. The natural worshippers have disappeared too. Was it all an illusion? I couldn't have both seen the That's exact true. same illusion. Yes. It, Unless it, I'm an illusion. An illusion. We shall see it again. You're turning into a zealot. You really have been a sinner and not a god. Man. How is this how is this chapter gonna end? I mean this act gonna end. No, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break in and What do you mean no sign of a break in? Your doors are leaves. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way you can tell if there's a break in or not. not there's no out. way. What? Your door. You're, you are more unstable than I thought. Your doors are leaves, my man. You don't exactly have the most secure household. This isn't how we left. Oh, yeah, the mirror. Oh, no. Did he looked at himself in the broken mirror. He took off his mask. The mirror. It's broken. Wait, it was already broken. <gasps> Wait. Huh? Must have looks like beneath it. How did we see the mirror when just done as he was told. What? We have to find him. Is there time travel shit going on here? Like what the fuck's going on? Or did he just not know the mirror was broken beforehand? Like what? What's going on? And what happened to fucking Paimon and And Dane's left? Like, we're really unconcerned about Paimon, considering she just apparently wandered off. Curses. Forest Rangers. Hey, who are you? We haven't seen Hello. you here before. What's your business here? Um, I saved this fucking here? continent. Hilly, well, not continent. Uh, country, uh, I guess. Some gall coming here to our nation insulting the Forest Ranger. Curse you all, Forest Rangers. Stop it. You, he'd only just regained his mind. How could you? You don't know that he died yet. So tell me, Forest Rangers. Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info. Goodbye. <laughs> yes, but you know what? To be fair, female Forest Ranger, your tone at the very start of that conversation made the whole thing more adversarial. So. You kind of started the rudeness a little bit. And I say that as someone who simps for every female character that pops up. <laughs> so I gave you the benefit of the doubt, but I still think you're a bit rude. Bear. We found him. Bear. We're 
in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Is this gonna be really I'm fucked sorry, up? Bear. Come back. Papa's here to take you home, all right? What's that strange power done to him? Oh, a cutscene. Oh Papa. no. Carly Bear. Papa, I can't take it. Please, Kari Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. Wow, the facial animation on Ida is pretty good. What? Papa? Oh. <sighs> What's going on? What's going on? What happened? Did I faint? I remember Kari Bear taking his mask off, but then. Oh, I have known your true identity for some time. What do you mean, true identity? Lumine? <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. But I've never met you. Oh, I've been using a fake name this entire time. Oh. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. My real name is Clotar. Clotar? Clotar Alberic. Alberic! You saw it too, didn't you? Oh. Unmistakable. At long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. What happened to Caribet? It's no business of yours. I imagined that you, of all people, would deny the abyss. Why? Because I'm the prince's sister. That you I'm the princess. Bring new strength and hope to Conria. Was there? But what did you bring us instead, oh prince? You're oh, calling Conria. me the prince? Uh, what the fuck? What did he just call me? Oh. We're getting voice acting. Oh my god. We're looking in the mirror and we're going to see Aether. Yep. <laughs> and now it's with Aether's voice actor. That's kind of sad though. <laughs> I want more Lumine voice actor. Even though I do like Aether's voice actor. Traveler. Okay, and now Dane's left. What the fuck is going on? This is crazy. I think that was Dane's left anyway. I just kind of assumed it was, yeah. What a so what happened while you were unconscious. I checked were we the asleep? Nearby. It appears that the abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. Hmm. What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order, Alberic. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body. This is that is an interesting way to and show then, his backstory. His faith, nor the abyss he worshipped, could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. And that's why the mirror was ah. Oh. The wild statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during so that's his life. that's why one the mirror was broken and that's also why like when we arrived you know we didn't see the the hillacho on the table and that's also why they made a note of saying like this looks exactly the same as it did like hundreds of years ago so that we wouldn't notice when we actually went back and that's also why they didn't let me fast travel anywhere because i was like I was not really in the same time period. Oh, that's really cool. I need to know what lies buried in this field. field? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? Yep, it's Alberic. What? That's impossible. Just gonna leave? Why? You well, we'll see him at the end of next chapter. <laughs> Bella will tell you when we next meet. <laughs> Man. What do you mean that he saw the traveler? How is that possible? It all happened hundreds of years in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. Back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, Paimon, one more thing. What is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a perfect ending to that that act. Um Wow! 
Okay, now that I have finished chapter three, I can confidently say that was the best chapter of, of Genshin so far. I can't wait to get to chapter four because I have a feeling, I mean, I've, I've said this before, but I feel like, um, I feel like chapter four has the potential to be my favorite because uh, I have loved the aesthetic of Fontaine that I've seen so far. Um, I love just just a ton about it. Like, I love the characters that I've seen from it so far. I love the idea of it being, like, a place of lore, of trials and stuff. I think that sounds really cool. So, I'm really excited to get to that. 